a my cult welcome back to a new video do you guys like lakes i just wonder to the reason why i ask you if you like lakes today we are reacting to an analog horror series called the wilton case files this is being created by valox i would recommend going in subscribing to their channel because these are very well done i have to say even before watching them i can just just i just know it's just i think the, the name just gives it away i've always been the person that would love to do it, a bit of kayaking i always end up being a bit like this though <laughs> when i actually do it which is like once in a blue moon bear in mind and also if you do like this video please consider thumbs up thumbs upping it that sounds really weird but you know what i mean thumbs up it yeah um, and also potentially subscribe to my channel because I just do everything analog horror, which I'm sure because you're watching this video, you must love it. Okay, so we're going hunting first. Ooh, wonder what we're going to be hunting. An entity? Maybe. Let's find out. Let's see. Okay, where are we at? Horizon Video Presents. Okay. What's it presenting? Hunting? Maybe? Oh, it's quite a nice, looks like a nice area. Don't know where it is, bear in mind, but... In Alberta. Can Alberta. The Canada, okay. Wilton Lake is just off the perfect hunting grounds. The surrounding forests are seen as a central place for animals to gather, with an amazing variety of prey for all your hunting needs. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've never been a, a hunter, to be honest, but it's quite interesting, isn't it? Looks like a really nice area, though, doesn't it? Look at that eye. Looks very nice. I actually want to go there. I mean, I have family who live in Toronto, but yeah, it would be amazing. What is hunting? Hunting is the practice of seeking, pursuing, and killing wildlife or feral animals. The most common reasons for... I just want to say one thing. Before anybody comments, yes, I am a rat, but that does not mean that you kill me, okay? Do not start hunting me, otherwise I will hunt you back. Just to clarify, okay? Just putting it out there, because otherwise I will hunt your ass down. For hunting are to harvest something useful, such as their meat, fur, hide, bone, or tusks. Okay. Pretty standard. Another reason for hunting is to remove domestic animals that might pose a threat in the Ah, area. here we go. Eliminate pests or here we go. animals that damage crops and livestock or spread diseases. I don't spread diseases, literally, just to say, but yeah. Just to clarify, okay? Here at Wilton Lake, widespread mammal species in the boreal forest include the black bear, moose, deer, red squirrel, and snowshoe hare. We don't get any of those in the UK. That's really annoying. I wish I, I, want, I need to go to Canada, man. It done. This video, you will learn the most practical and efficient way to hunt the animals which inhabit Wilton Lake. Okay. I better go and get my shotgun ready then, and I will allow you to overlook and survey the area. Be on the ready for any prey that may pass by. Okay. I'm ready. Maybe we've got a deer there by the looks of it then. Okay. When the animal is located, focus on its movements carefully. It may have a self-defense method. Teeth and claws, okay. When you see an opportunity, proceed to incapacitate your prey swiftly. What's that picture there? That's a bit weird. Next, <clears throat> slice down the center of the animal with a sharp object and strip the meat from the bone. He's a knife. Whoa, okay, yeah, that was what I, I thought something was gonna happen. Bloody hell, dude. What the hell was that? Climb inside. I don't really think I want to climb inside there because I'm probably going to get either eaten alive or I'm going to end up in a black hole, which I ain't getting out of. Whoa, it said Corinthians. Yeah, the face. Yeah. You can now proudly return home feeling like a whole new man. I say it again, I'm already a man. I don't need to be a new one. Okay, there we go. So we know how to hunt. Hunt. Oh, okay, shadows. This is the newest one. Okay, so it's also entertainment. Okay. Second video of this one. Of the, uh, of this. Learning shadows for kids. Okay, so we've gone from hunting animals to learning shadows for kids. Okay. The 
wonder. Okay, so how shadows are formed. So a shadow is a dark shape made when light is stopped or blocked by an object or a person. Went back to school here, ain't we? <laughs> oh god, I haven't been to school for years. Okay, some objects are opaque, such as stone, metal, and wood. This means light doesn't travel through them. Light bounces back off the object, and on the other side, a shadow is formed. Translucent, transparent, and opaque. I don't like how... I mean, this is analog horror, right? And we're bringing shadows into it. What's gonna happen? Okay, so looking at this video, we can see the way shadows rotate as the sun moves through the sky. This is the very way of telling the time. Ah, didn't it? That actually was how it was. No long ago, man. Madness. Can you guess what is cast in the shadow? An entity? Something creepy? A lake? Let's begin. Okay. I have literally no idea. Yeah, rugby. Yeah, ro oh, football. Okay. I'm going to say rugby ball for it's because it's UK for me, but that's fine. A hand? Got a hand, have we, or what? Yes! I'm just too good, obviously. Come on. I mean, it's quite easy, but still. Oh? Oh, it's a chair? What? What the fuck? Oh, dude, that was weird. It's at your window. What's at my window? Oh no. Oh, hi, Mario. Oh, God. I want to go and check my window now. <laughs> like, really, seriously, I do. Are we supposed to be looking for something? Because all I'm focused on is Mario at this point. Whoa. All right, dude. Oh, my God. What the hell? Whoa. What's going on, man? That's Xbox. PlayStation 2. Well, okay. I can see you. Can you? Go away. You look comfortable. I, I am comfortable. Are you guys? Watching the video? You didn't close the curtains completely. That's actually quite true. Mine aren't closed properly right now. Come and let's be in. No! Stuff that, I don't want to die. Oh god, not, not, don't knock on my door. Somewhere in your house. God. Oh, bruh. Michael's body was never found after the incident. But, okay. Our investigation team was sent out and came back with the video you just witnessed, as well as some photos. Oh god, what photos are we going to see, if we are going to see them? The team also came across a hollowed out pile of skin laying on the living room floor. We identified the flesh suit to be a to be Jerry West Westfield, a well-known hunter by the locals of Wilton Lake. Uh, here are photos taken by Michael before his presumed death. Oh god, what are we going to see? I'd really... The hell? Bit freaked out here. That person in the background, dude. Oh, this is horrible. Really dark stuff, dude. Whoa, all right, mate. Yeah, you don't need to show me that. Flipping heck. Trying to make me jump scare here? Here are the photos taken by our investigation team. Oh, these are going to be worse. That feeling, you know? That's outside outside the house, I'm going to assume, right? Yeah. Like, someone got cut up pretty bad there with that blood. Oh, my God, yeah. Look at, check that out. Ugh. Ori, man. That must be the dead body, right? Him. Who's that in the back? Who is... Whoa, okay. I don't know. That is a weird thing, dude. The weird shadow. My God, bro, that was really good. Lovely, right? Well, there we go. That was the Wilton Lake 
Case files. I really hope this continues. Um, the thing is, the first video was done like five, six months ago. Alox um, has just released this one not too long ago. So I really hope that uh, he continues on with these because this is a really quite cool unlock horror. Um, from what I've seen of his channel, he seems to do a lot of backrooms. So if backrooms content is something you guys enjoy, then I also will go and subscribe to him, to him for that. Um, I am very tempted, actually, to probably check out some of his Backrooms content and maybe even react to that. So, if you guys want me to do some of that, then let me know in the comments. But other than that, if you enjoyed my video today, please leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. If you are uh, an analog horror lover like me, this is what I do most of the time on this channel. So, that's really it. So, thanks again for watching. And as normal... My lovelies, cult ratties, peace out, y'all.